Don't be absurd! You think Kakarot's dead because of you? Ah! Um, Piccolo? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Sure, yeah. But why are you still a Super Saiyan? Huh? I don't really know how to explain why, but I'm trying to continue my training. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. That's why I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. I see. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Huh? Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. But if Cell or some new androids show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. Oh, so that's what you mean. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. <laughs> so, you got a more concrete training regimen planned? Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now so you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. What you lack is mental fortitude. Mental fortitude? Your dad, he knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. You might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So, what should I do? Hmm. You might not like this suggestion, but why don't you try training with Vegeta? He's the strictest guy around when it comes to emotion. And not just with others, but with himself too. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Understood. I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. If you can get Vegeta to train you, you'll probably get where you want to be. Alright, better find Vegeta so I can ask for his help. Well now... What do you want? Would you mind fighting me so I can get stronger? My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger, so something like that doesn't happen again. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. Don't be absurd! You think Kakarot's dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him? You arrogant, spoiled little brat! Huh? But I... Damn it. I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now. Come at me. I'll beat the arrogance out of you.
Nothing. We're done. You were far more powerful than this when you defeated Cell. You were holding back, weren't you? No, that's not true. A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kakarot. Stupid child. Yeah, Vegeta's right. I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. I... I need to do some serious soul-searching. I... I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. Mom's not gonna be happy about it, though. Greetings! <laughs> Thank you so much! This thing's filled with power! What do you think? Thank you so much! Right! Excuse me! What? <sighs> hey! How is that sound? <laughs> what? Oh ho oh, oh. You! Hi! Very well. Indeed. She is doing very well. Whoa, this is Nader. Very well, you don't see this kind of Nader. Very well, Nader. Huh?
think I can take this guy. I can't believe I shit that large sink. every day. This thing's filled with power. I bet this tastes really good. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. 